By default, components are ordered vertically from top to bottom in the view canvas. For more layout options, we can use three components from the layout section of the component library. A container is a special type of view component that can be used to contain other components. After creating a container on the view canvas, we can simply drag components inside it. This not only makes it easier to organize components, but enables you to also apply different types of layouts to the contained components. For example, let's start with three icon components. By default, the icons will stack vertically. To align the icons horizontally, let's create a new container and let's drag all of the icons inside the container. Then from the container styles, let's change the layout from vertical to horizontal, which will make the components inside the container to be laid out horizontally. We can also use the justification and alignment controls to further refine the placement of the components. We can now also move the container around as a single component, and we can also clone it, saving us plenty of time when designing more complex layouts. A row is similar to a container, except it has a configurable number of cells within which other view components can be dragged in. For this example, I'm starting with a page variable called PeopleList, which is of the list of objects type. The list contains objects with the properties ID and name. Now let's create a new row, which by default has two cells. Let's create and drag in a paragraph component to each of the cells. Then let's make sure we have the row component selected and then let's bind its repeat with property to the people list variable. This will now repeat the row for each of the objects in the list. Then let's choose the first paragraph component and let's bind the content property to property of data item in repeat and let's choose the ID property. Then let's do the same thing for the second paragraph in the other cell with the name property. As we can see, the row component makes it really simple to create different kinds of table layouts for our data. The scroll view component is similar to a container, but it will provide scroll controls when the content of the scroll view overflows the scroll view height. Optionally, the scroll view can also work horizontally.